Welcome to one more very important and interesting informative video on my channel at crazy underscore facts 69. Now watch the video. Hold on to your seat because this might shock you. Air conditioners, those trusty units that keep us cool on scorching summer days, are responsible for the emission of over 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide each year globally. That's right, 1 billion tons. That's more than twice the carbon footprint of the entire aviation industry. You might be thinking, well, air conditioners can't be the worst offenders in our homes, can they? Let's put it into perspective. A typical air conditioner uses about three times as much energy as a refrigerator. If you thought keeping your leftovers cool was energy intensive, imagine what's happening when you're chilling your entire house. And it doesn't stop there. Did you know that an air conditioner uses up to 50 times more power than an LED light bulb? Picture 50 light bulbs burning brightly all day every day that's the equivalent energy use of just one air conditioner now i know what you're thinking but i need my air conditioner it gets hot and you're absolutely right but here's the thing the energy used by air conditioners doesn't just come out of thin air it's generated by burning fossil fuels which releases even more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere this contributes to a vicious cycle of global warming causing temperatures to rise which in turn makes us use our air conditioners more but don't despair there's hope Shifting our cooling habits doesn't mean we have to sacrifice comfort. There are many eco-friendly alternatives out there that can help us beat the heat without beating up our planet. For instance, consider installing a solar air conditioner. These innovative devices use the power of the sun, a renewable and abundant energy source, to cool your home. Not only do they significantly reduce carbon emissions, but they also can save you a pretty penny on your electricity bill. Or why not try using a fan instead of an air conditioner? Fans use a fraction of the energy and can be surprisingly effective at keeping you cool. And when it's not too hot, opening windows to create a cross breeze can be a great natural alternative. And remember, small changes can make a big difference. Even adjusting your thermostat by just a couple of degrees can significantly reduce your air conditioner's energy use and its environmental impact. So, next time you reach for that air conditioner remote, pause for a moment. Think about the impact your cooling habits have on our planet. Consider the alternatives, and then make a choice. A choice that not only keeps you comfortable, but also helps protect our precious planet. Because every degree, every watt, and every choice matters. Together we can cool our homes and save our planet. It's time to turn down the heat on global warming. It starts with you. It starts now. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this video is informative and interesting. Please forward your comments. Also do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.